Welcome in San Clemente in Spain, Catalonia. We are uh, here doing a Socratic dialogue training so that people can acquire the capacity to moderate the Socratic dialogue. Not only the moderation capacity, it's also the philosophy of the Socratic dialogue that we, of course, transcend and that people will uh, acquire into their moderation practice. In the Socratic dialogue, we create a complete new, different collective mind which will emerge from the people sitting together. This emerging mind is completely at, from a different level than individual minds. Individual minds will keep on repeating the same thoughts in themselves, addictive thoughts, will not be able to listen and will not be aware of the philosophical assumptions in their thinking. Socratic di dialogue says, okay, we don't have, we have plenty of time, everybody is going to uh, talk and there's a chair uh, that takes care of that situation that everybody takes part and express the, the ideas. So uh, it gave me that comfort. New ideas or collective ideas are emerging from this methodology. So everybody is following the other one and uh, the methodology is uh, about building up uh, the ideas on top of each other. If you look at the mind of people of their thinking process, you are basically watching the most vulnerable, the most valuable stuff of human beings. So in the Socratic dialogue, the, high, the highest form of ethical commitment, of value commitment, of human respect is realized. We are good inside. And how we can turn that good intentions using a methodology where we can start trusting each other in organic ways we can collaborate and start creating further ideas, further methodologies and further experiments to design better human lives. I think that's the holy purpose of everything. And if we are doing business, it should be about that. I will definitely pursue at least the beginnings of a career in holding Socratic dialogues, not only in my country, but all over the world, because wherever English is spoken, I may be there present as a facilitator or the chair of a Socratic dialogue environment. So in my life, I will instill it as a tool to be able to listen better, actively, presently, with more clarity, and help, uh, help others try to understand themselves and others in a dialogue environment. Socratic dialogue is the strongest, the strongest point of Socratic design, and Socratic design is aiming at building a new company narrative. The narrative, the culture of the company, is the most difficult part of innovating, it's the most difficult part of creating, and most people won't do it. Most people won't stick to data, to facts, to uh, standard consultancy, uh, benchmarking stuff. We do the opposite. We do the most hard stuff. And that is building a new narrative, building a new company culture. And that is why Socratic Dialogue is the key, the starting point of uh, Socratic design. When you listen to someone else, you're already learning something from them. Because it's not your talk, it's their talk. It's what they have been thinking or what they are thinking at the moment. So, uh, if you really listen to it, then you're actually grabbing things from that. And that is learning in itself, because it will change something in you, because you're not actually listening to response, respond, but listening to listen, to understand, to internalize it first, and then go on top of that. So, just this is learning. I came here expecting a transformation in myself, because I knew there was something 
knew that I had to gain from this Socratic dialogue training. So I did receive that. And I will build up on it with practice.